What is going on guys? Trey coming back at your screen by means of the World Wide Web. And today we're going to get into the prize highlights for the Blaze of Glory PvP event. And of course we're going to be starting off with the legendary Wayfrar. So um, I really like this guy's sprite. His look is super duper clean, fresh. Um, he's a samurai. The really spiky hair and he has like six swords if you look at his skill preview. His skill really looks nice. I really like that skill. But um he doesn't have six swords, but he just stabs with him so fast it looks like six swords all at once. So um to go ahead and get into the stats of this guy, um he is an air champ. So high attack, ten thousand, I mean twelve thousand two hundred thirty-five. High HP at 10,494 and pretty high defense as well at 8,494. Has wisdom 1,203 as well as his agility 1,457. So, so, I mean, wisdom doesn't matter on this guy whatsoever. And his agility is actually pretty decent. So, um, sway all elite, new skill, know yourself, and to the heart of it all shall you cut. Um, two cooldown at Max Seth. So um, this guy is actually pretty good guys. Um, if anyone is competing in this event, definitely do your utmost to try to nab this guy. He's actually pretty good. He's pretty good indeed. Um, if I wasn't sitting this event out, I would definitely try as hard as I could to nab this guy for sure. He's a leaderboard legendary, so you're going to have to place high guys. And if you don't, then hopefully you'll be able to nab him on trades. But this guy is really good guys um, I definitely recommend anybody who's competing in this event try your hardest try to get this guy he's pretty good he's pretty good okay moving on to our next one we have Utu Higal um, a big old praying mantis looking guy here um, I mean this look is okay I guess I mean he, he is what he's supposed to be a big gold yellow looking praying mantis but let's go ahead and get into the stats of this guy. Um, Udu Higal is a lightning roll. So he's going to have the attack coming in at 4,784 and the agility coming in at 4,960. But this is a rogue that also has a pretty substantial amount of HP, guys. 3147. You don't see too many ro rogues with that kind of HP, which is pretty good. Um, the defense, of course, not so much. 1634 as well as the wisdom, 985. Um, Wisdom's not going to do this fighter any good. And defense, um, nine times out of ten, anything that goes up against this guy is just going to crush it in one hit anyways. So the defense is not really going to matter too much on this guy either. But um, really nice attack, really nice agility. Sting Elite, single target, cooldown of one, pretty average. Um, Sting is based off of agility, so it uses the agility as the attack wants to move procs. So if you're going to superfuse this guy, if you're going to keep him, you definitely want to superfuse him with some agility for sure to power up that steam that's going to be coming around every other turn. Now, um, I personally wouldn't use these, this fighter, guys. I'm not a huge fan of steam. Um, it just really doesn't do any good for me and my band and what I'm trying to accomplish. So, um, but, but if there's anyone out there that likes steam fighter, this guy is definitely not a bad single target Steen at all. He's actually one of the better ones out there, honestly. But for those who aren't going to use this guy, um, you can definitely get away with using this guy as attack or agility superfuse fodder, in which you would get 574 attack or 595 agility. So it is your choice. This guy is a bracket battle prize. So depending on where you place in your bracket, Every day in your echelon depends on the amount of this fighter that you will be able to pull at the end of the event. So try to place high in your bracket and you'll be able to pull at least one epic of this guy and get you a head start on trying to 5 for 5 this guy if that's what you are planning to do. I personally am not going to do it. I don't think the guy's worth it. I'm not a big Steam fan, but if you do like single target Steams, like I said, this guy is actually one of the higher and better ones. So on our first part of the prize highlights, we're just going to stick with comparing those two. And the two, and of course, we want to go to our comparisons. 
So the first one we're going to be comparing is Wayfar and had to compare him to the great one here guys, Dred Dicipius, my boy, 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 boy. So, Dred Dicipius, Fire Champ, HP, 10,035, attack, 11,699, defense, 8,121, wisdom, 11,52, agility, 13,93, Jack Boot All Elite with a cooldown of 2-1. So since we're comparing him to Wayfar, um, to be honest, statistically, and I don't like to say this type of stuff, but facts are facts. <laughs> statistically, Way is better than Dread in every single category, guys. 459 more HP, 536 more attack, 373 more defense, 51 more wisdom, and 64 more agility. With a total stat cost being 1,483 more than Dread. So they both have an all elite attack that are both based off of attack. But here is the thing that in my opinion still makes Dread the king guys. That cooldown. Way still has a 3-2 cooldown while Dread still has a 2-1 cooldown. So that jack boot coming every other turn is just monstrous guys. It is just terrifying. And that's why in my opinion I still think Dread is the king of Defender of Texel at this point in time. But Wei is definitely better statistically. But he just doesn't have the cooldown and that's really his only downfall guys is that two cooldown. If this guy had a one cooldown he definitely would have dethroned Dread. But in my opinion, Dread is still king. So really close um, fighter here to the king, though, guys. That's why I was saying, if you're going to compete this PvP event, do your utmost to grab that guy. He is definitely worth it, for sure. And the last one we are going to be comparing tonight, we're going to compare to our Praying Mantis, Uru Higal. And the one that I wanted to compare him to, which is a really close comparison, guys. I mean, really, really close. Um, the one we're going to be comparing him to is right here. Reineke. We just got him in the Joker's Wild Special Dungeon. So, Reineke is a fire rogue. 3,152 max HP. 4,794 attack. 1637 defense. 988 wisdom. 4970 agility with a total stat base of 15541. So, comparing these two fighters, they're both single lead, 3 1 cooldown based off of agility. Now, here's the thing, guys. Like I was saying, this is a screaming close comparison. Um, Reineke is better than Udu, but it's by such a minuscule amount that it really does not even matter. Um, if you already got Reineke, in all honesty, um, unless you're going for a whole steam line or something like that, you have some sort of goal in mind, I wouldn't even waste your time with Udu. And here's why. Reineke, 5 more HP, 10 more attack, 3 more defense, 3 more wisdom, and 10 more agility. So, honestly guys, that is a total stat difference of... 31 31 stat point stat difference is like I said it's so minuscule it honestly doesn't even matter I mean truthfully Reineke is the better fighter but it's just by the smallest of smidges guys it does not even matter so if you already have Reineke here unless you have a goal in mind don't even bother with Udu you are better off just stand with what you have Keep the bitters, the nucks, or the fighters, or anything else that you were thinking of trading away. Just keep them, guys. Keep it in your inventory and use it on a better fighter because it's not even worth it. So there we have it for part one of our prize highlights, guys, of the Blaze of Glory. Um, stick around for a part two that will be coming you guys' way soon. So I hope you enjoyed this. Please continue to like, subscribe, favorite, share, comment, and everything else. And I'll be back at you guys screen with more. Later.